Hello, my most beautiful friends, and welcome to your weekly horoscope for the week of March 23rd. And before we jump in, this is a good week. Not only is it a new moon week, so the new moon in Aries, beautiful time, darkest time in the moon cycle, but it's the seeds of new beginnings that we're going to plant right here. Venus is going to come into a beautiful trine with Jupiter this week, which next week we see Jupiter coming into conjunction with Pluto. So this is very supercharged, good, delicious energy. But on top of that, we have got a free webinar for you guys this week. I'm pairing up with astrologyhub.com again, and myself, Miss Beautiful Nadia Shaw, will have Tammy Brunk Donna, and Donna will be there again as well. So we're going to do a free webinar for you guys this week, and I hope that you will join. You can click in the description box down below. Get signed up. It's free. Come learn. Come talk with us. We're going to talk about soul purpose, but the five unique placements in your chart you really kind of want to be looking, especially at this time where we're all pushed inward, whether it be that you actually be pushed inward into your home or you're just being pushed inward to try and figure out where you're going, what you're going to do next, how do you do that with more passion. We're going to talk about that for free as a beautiful offering up to you guys. So please come join, come join the webinar this week. It's going to be Wednesday and Thursday. It'll be gorgeous and get signed up down below. Okay, all of that out of the way this week. Starting off the week actually is a little bit bumpy. First of all, on the 23rd, what we're going to have is the moon and Pluto coming into this alignment with each other, and it happens very, very early in the day. And I tell you this, and if you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you've already seen the post about it, but because it happens so early in the day, it's important to pay attention to how things are unfolding for the rest of the day. Because while this is a good energy that is like, yeah, let's do things. I want to succeed. Let's move. Let's change. Let's evolve. Let's take action. It can also be an energy that is so exciting that it's irritated very, very easily. There's challenge. Um, you're, it can feel a little bit like a power struggle even is happening in this energy. So just beware that very early in the day, we're under a Pisces moon as well, so we're all feeling our feels very deeply. Use this energy. It's very focused, so use it to get something done, but just make sure you're using it usefully instead of allowing it to create an explosion for you later. Like I said, we travel with the moon in Pisces. The moon will move into Aries towards the end of the day, so we're going to have this delicious, delicious movement of that shift of energy from those Piscean, between the worlds, very creative, compassionate qualities, to now we move even internally into our warrior energy, which follows us beautifully on Tuesday for the full moon happening on the 24th in the energy of Aries. It's going to be at 4 degrees and 12 minutes, so make sure you grab a chart, and if you don't have a chart, get one from me, order one from Cafe Astrology, Astro.com, do whatever you need to do so you can see where this four degrees is happening for you in your chart because this is your placement where you're going to create new strategy to pull you from the things and the behavior patterns and the ideas from the past that seem very easy to get involved with. And instead, you're going to use this Paulus Athena combination of male, female, Chiron, Lilith um, energy to begin to move yourself towards that north node and to a forward motion. It is a beautiful new start energy in our beautiful first cardinal energy of Aries. And if you haven't watched the new moon video, make sure you check it out so you can get all of the details on that, okay? As we continue to travel down through this week, the next real big thing I think I want to bring your attention to actually happens on Friday. This is where Venus and Jupiter, who Venus is our smallest benefic planet and Jupiter is our biggest benefic planet. So when these two are dancing together and they are in a trine energy to each other, this is a delicious, delicious energy. So it happens on Friday, March 27th, and this is just, it's goodness, it's harmony, it's, it's expansion in a way that feels delicious. 
it's a lucky kind of energy, right? So the things that you're coming and you're starting and you felt like you're making this strategy to move forward, this is like it just kisses your plans. It kisses the energy around you. It kisses the people around you and brings you this place where things can be fortunate. This new moon that's happening on the 24th, you want to be planting your seeds of intention to take action here, not just thinking your strategy needs to lead to action because it's going to be significant when we get to this April 4th Jupiter Pluto conjunction, but this little stop here on the 27th is both of the benefic planets creating your opportunity to take the plans and the strategy and really get them going, really give them something that can grow into something successful. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful energy. So this is going to be a good week and it leads us into a week next week where we begin a space of about six weeks of seeing Mars energy begin to move. We're going to start to see this Venus energy move. Pacha is obviously very excited about it. So I hope you have a good week. This week, while you've got good things going on, I hope you'll join us for the webinar with astrologyhub.com, which will, of course, lead data later down the road into the Soul Purpose course if you want to go deeper and beyond the webinar. But man, you're getting four phenomenal astrologers coming. We're going to sit and we're going to talk with you about these placements in your chart and what you can be doing and using them right now. Because remember, just because you've got noise, just because you've got content on in your background, or you're watching it, you got to be watching the stuff that's actually food for you, that nourishes you this week. What are you giving yourself? Are you giving yourself a strategy and information to place into a strategy to grow forward to? We hope to be able to help you with that next week, okay? Or I guess it's this week. <laughs> All right, you guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I hope you are taking advantage of your spring equinox gift before they are gone. You can also find that in the description box down below or, of course, at stormygrace.com. I love you guys so much, and I look forward to seeing you on the webinar and seeing you next week. Bye, everybody.